Can anybody explain to me why I have a sticker of Ashley Jordan's ass? What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this, for real? This is our third navigation video on this channel. If you remember, my first impression with them wasn't too good, but I gave them another shot because y'all told me to, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm warming up to this brand a little bit. I'm hoping that these new Wild Fang leggings are a lot like their camo. I'm hoping for that fit right now, and I know you are too. So yeah, guys, this is Navigation's latest drop, their Wild Thing collection. It's all animal print right up my alley. I ordered these so fast. Nope, correction. Bay ordered them for me the second they launched because I was busy and we were making sure we wasn't gonna miss out on this launch. So he did a really nice job. Real quick, I have got to address the elephant in the room and that is this hair that we got going on right now. I know, I know what you're thinking. Ash, did you literally just roll out of bed? I mean, the bathrobe doesn't help, but then again, I'm cold as fuck right now. The hair is all natural, okay? I'm getting a little wild because it's the wild thing video. No, not really. I actually saw my hairdresser a couple weeks ago and she was very adamant about me stopping frying my hair. She said, my hair looks so freaking fried. What have you been doing? I said the usual, just frying it with my hair straightener. I told her I usually put it on 425 degrees, straighten and curl my hair with it. She literally looked me in the eyes and goes, girl, we don't even cook chicken at 425. Ever since that moment, I haven't put a flat iron on it. I hope you guys like this because this is what we're looking at for the foreseeable future. I need to let my hair grow and get good. I have not even tried these on yet. I wait for those special moments with you guys. But if these are not the softest leggings I have ever felt in my life. In fact, there's different levels of softness. The zebra are the softest. We got each of the patterns that they offered. I wanted to test them all out just to see if they are legit and consistent. Zebra in that nude color, you know I like those nudes. We actually got a purple snake skin. Well, okay then. Ooh, look how stretchy these are. We got that leopard hot pink cheetah. They're feeling like the camo, just so you know. Before we go and try these on, a quick word from our sponsor. Thank you, Just CBD, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. We got that party pack. Look at this big ass jar. <laughs> so Just CBD has a party pack gummy option, in case you don't know. I love their gummies. That's my favorite product from them. I love their vegan, their night gummies, their sugar-free, all of them are bomb, but this party pack has a little bit of everything going on in here. Just a few of their gummies on a somewhat empty stomach gets me feeling real relaxed. So I like to keep these for when I'm in chill mode, right before bed, or when I have an off day. When I'm just trying to ease some stress away from my body, this is when I love to take on my Just CBD gummies. This party pack is no joke. It's perfect for sharing. It's got 3,000 milligrams of CBD. You have such a variety going on, all these different flavors. It's gluten-free, fat-free, dairy-free, MSG-free. No artificial sugars or anything like that. So definitely give them a check. They have a ton more products than just gummies. I will have them linked down below and feel free to use code Ashley to save 20% off your order. Thanks again to Just CBD for sponsoring this portion of today's video. All right, Ashley Jordan, let's see what you got here. All right, this is $150 right here. You better not let me down. Thank goodness that these leggings are as similar to the camo as similar gets. Practically the same fit and everything. These are extremely silky soft feeling, especially this print. And I don't know if it's this brown zebra that's doing it for me, but I'm feeling like a tree trunk in this. So yeah, I know what we're thinking. Like, what about the booty department? We still got the same thing going on. I don't feel like it's working as well as the camo. I'm wearing bright red undies and I'm seeing no problems with the squat proof here. So super squat proof, really nice length on me, moderate support overall. I think it's really interesting how you have a lot of breakup of different color and texture look in here. So you got the overall zebra print, but then you got this marl looking band. So there's a lot of different breakup going on. There's no contour or anything. I wouldn't expect it with this type of legging because I mean, you got a lot going on as it is. All right, so I had a DM the other day from one of you gals, okay? And it made me literally LOL. One of y'all called it a veggie, a vagina wedgie. I am sorry, I, that, I might adopt that term now because that's all I'm thinking about is veggie. There's no veggie. So guys, again, obviously these are my first impressions. I haven't worn these to the gym or worked out in them. I have worked out in their camo and loved how they fit. So far, this is feeling identical to that. 
maybe ever so slightly more compressive by like a tiny fraction. Okay, so I did not play around with these leggings yet. In other words, this is just how it looks when you first put them up. Kind of a uni butt, kind of feel a little awkward. Like I'm sure a lot of you know, navigation, along with some other leggings, you really gotta work them around and mold them to your glutes. You gotta, do, you gotta squat down and put them together. Yeah, Bay's giving me pointers as well. So he says, squat on down, pull on up, get that there. <laughs> okay, Woo! better? Yeah, all right, cool. There is a lot of room to play with. So this side material needs to end up right around town back here in between the glutes to get the Ashley Jordan look. I'm not a big fan of pink. <laughs> If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know there's certain colors I don't really tend to go for. Black, pinks, purples. I don't opt for those colors, so thanks a lot, Bay, for getting me all those colors. <laughs> this isn't too bad because it's a hot, hot, spicy pink, so it's a little eye-catching. I could go for that from time to time. It's definitely, to me, more of a spring-summer color. Not something I'm wearing during the winter time, hello. But nevertheless, the cheetah print is really cute. They're really big cheetah spots. <laughs> Ain't no tiny little cheetah print. I kind of like the big print actually, it's different. Again, really soft, extremely stretchy leggings. These are the go-to weightlifting leggings. Like that is what I would do with these. I wouldn't necessarily be doing hit or anything running high intense. These are not sandwiching in my glutes like high compression leggings. So if you're just looking for a straightforward, you know, hug the peach, give you that nice crispy cream look, Navigation's really good for that. It's literally December right now in New Jersey and it's overcast. It's December everywhere, girl. What oh yeah. <laughs> okay, true that, true that. It is so disgustingly disgusting outside right now in New Jersey. It's overcast for like the next six months. So with that being said, I'm working with one, two, three, four, five big box lights on me. That's how I'm determining my squat proof plus bay getting up close and personal and we're seeing that it's really good with squat proof. So just so you know, that's how I'm testing it. I don't really have daylight in New Jersey, guys. Out of all the animal prints, snake skin's probably my least favorite because I don't really care for snakes. <laughs> they kind of freak me out a little bit and um, they're just not like a cute and cuddly animal. So I'm just kind of like, I could do without them. But I'm noticing that this snake skin looks more like, I think it's the color too that's getting me a little crazy right now, but I'm about to say that I look and feel like a mermaid. Like I got mermaid scales going on more than anything. Easter egg purple. So coming out in the springtime again, not for winter. If I'm comparing all three animal prints that you just saw, I would say the snake skin's the roughest with the material. It's still soft and stretchy, same type of material, but I just feel like this texture is the roughest out of all three of them. This is the lightest pair of them all. So let's test the squat proof on this one. Are you ready, Ben? Not a, nothing, no. That's surprisingly good for being so light of a legging. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and say I think that this color, I believe it's just the color doing it, is the best looking on the glutes. I think it's the lightness though. Usually lighter colors make the glutes appear much larger than they really are. I gotta say, Ashley Jordan did something right with this material. She did it so that you don't need a contour or a scrunch or even a raised seam contour here. She got nothing going on here but the material is just, is so good for molding around those glutes. I feel like this snakeskin print gives almost like a shine look. Like it almost looks like a little bit shiny. Is it shiny? Yeah, it looks shimmery. Does it? Against the light. I can't tell, yeah, it does, it really does. This is why it looks like mermaid scales to me. These are beautiful. These are my favorite, actually, out of all of them. So each of these prints are made out of the same exact material, but if I'm getting super technical with it, I would say the zebra is the stretchiest and the softest out of the three. Then we would be doing the cheetah and then the snake skin last. In terms of appearance on the cheeks though, believe it or not, snake skin definitely wins. It's crazy because on the site, I thought for sure the brown zebra were gonna be it for me. Turns out, no. <laughs> I actually think these might be my least favorite. I hope this video cleared things up for you because I know a lot of you are probably wondering the same thing. Are these wild thing leggings some of the classic big hits from Navigation, just different style prints? And the truth is, yes, this is very similar, if not almost identical to the camo. So if you're a fan of that camo, like I am, then I really do believe you're gonna like the wild thing. 
And let's not also forget to mention their price point. So these are each $48, under $50 for seamless leggings that are mostly like almost 100% squat proof, really. That's good. Like the quality here is really good for what you're paying for. If you're familiar with Instagram activewear seamless brands, you would know that $48 is pretty dang good. All right guys, so that wraps up today's video. I hope you found this helpful. Drop a comment, let me know your thoughts. And don't forget to subscribe because we have a ton of new activewear coming. I know you see all those Pursue leggings. Yeah, we got Pursue coming up next. And don't forget to drop a comment with a brand you'd like to see next. I hope you guys have a happy new year. I love you guys so much. And oh my God, at this point, I might see you in the new year. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Wow, thing. You make my heart sing. You make everything. Don't know the rest of the words. Wow, oh, yeah. <laughs>